What's up everyone, it's been two weeks since I made that last video on May 4th and we have a lot more stuff to discuss. Some of the new stuff that we got, we finally got pictures of all of those promo sets and then we finally got all of those sets on LEGO's website. So let's go over everything about May 4th in 2024. Now the first thing I want to point out is this actually starts on May 1st, which is the same as last year. However, now it looks like it's only going to May 5th. Last year and the years before, it was May 7th, so they actually shortened it by two days. And it looks like insiders will still have early access to all of these new sets, which real quick, we'll talk on the insiders. If you're not a LEGO insider, all it is is an email and a password on LEGO's website. Once you sign up, you'll get points for all your purchases and then exclusive events and sweepstakes that they offer. On May 4th, they also offer early access to all of those new LEGO sets. And I should specify new LEGO Star Wars sets. Now, if you're in store, it actually starts on May 1st for pretty much everyone. However, you won't get all of these gifts with purchase if you're not an insider. So all you have to do is when you're at the checkout, I think they have you enter in your phone number or email, and then you get all of those gifts with purchase. Now, real quick, because two weeks ago, we didn't really know all of those gifts with purchase. Let's talk about all of those new ones that just got announced. Now, we're going to start with the lowest price threshold that you have to spend to the highest price threshold. Let's start with the AAT. So this is the AAT poly bag. This one will be added onto your order for free if you spend $40 or more. Now keep in mind, there's nothing you have to like click or add on. If you're signed in with your insider's account on lego.com, it will automatically apply this to your order. And that's the same with the rest of these gifts with purchase. Now the second tier is the Battle of Yavin coin set. Now this is just one coin in here and this one is just the X-Wing flying into the Death Star. It's honestly a pretty cool coin. Last year we had a similar type of coin as well, but that one you'll have to spend $90 or more. And again, that will automatically get applied to your order if you're in store they'll hand it right to you. And the last one that I'm excited about is that Trade Federation Troop Carrier. Now with this one, you'll have to spend $160 or more and you'll get this gift with purchase. I think this one is a great one. You get eight droids in this set and the build honestly looks pretty solid. I did really, really like last year's Death Star. I think that was a great set and it's very cool to have on display. I think with all of the sets that they have released in the past couple of years, droids have been very, very light. So it's good to see that we're getting a gift with purchase that has a ton of droids in it. Now keep in mind, with all of these gifts with purchase, you'll have to spend $160 or more and you'll get all of these gifts with purchase added onto your order or in store. Now keep in mind also, you have to spend $160 or more to get all three of these in Lego Star Wars. So it can't be a different category of Lego, it has to be Lego Star Wars. Now during the May 4th week, they're gonna have a couple other things that they offer. First of which is this Star Wars art print. You'll have to spend 1800 points to redeem this. And then I'm, I'm pretty sure it just gets shipped to you. But this is actually a really cool kind of poster. It has a ton of Lego Star Wars minifigs on here. Honestly, I, I might get this one myself. Now, next up, Lego is actually gonna be having a May 4th live stream. However, the live stream is not on May 4th, it's actually on May 1st. Now, during this event, they're gonna have special offers. They're gonna reveal all of the new sets and talk about them. And then they're also gonna give away a UCS tie interceptor with the designer's signature. If you remember, or if you followed my TikToks on Black Friday, they actually did something very, very similar with the Avengers Tower. Basically, they went over all of those new sets that were releasing. Now, at the end of that Black Friday event, they actually told you to go to your insider's profile. And then if you clicked rewards, you could actually enter in to win that Avengers Tower. Now, for May 4th, this is probably going to be the exact same thing that happened on Black Friday. However, it's just going to be that UCS tie interceptor. And obviously they'll offer a bunch of other sweepstakes and rewards, they always, always do. We're just a little uncertain on what those will be right now. So those were all the gifts with purchase. Those were all of the kind of offers they're running. Now let's talk about points that you can get. So if you're not familiar with Insiders or it used to be called Lego VIP, pretty much every time you make a purchase on Lego's website, you get points for your purchase. So essentially those points add up and you can redeem them for a certain dollar discount or enter into sweepstakes or different rewards. And every May 4th week, they always offer two times points. Last year, they actually offered five times points for select sets in stores. 
And if anything, they haven't updated their website yet, but once they update their website, we're gonna see that they'll have two times points pretty much on every Lego Star Wars set. And it looks like this year they're gonna change it to, they're still gonna have the two times points, but they're also gonna have a four times points on select sets. Now I'm unsure if that's gonna be in store specific or online specific, but these are the rumored sets to be on that four times points. First up is the Cantina set. And if you haven't picked this set up yet, now would be the time to do so. Obviously you could wait for Black Friday for a sale, but it's supposed to retire by the end of this year. So you have to grab that set. It is such an awesome set. I highly recommend it. Next up is the AT-80. -AT. This set is also supposed to retire by the end of this year. And again, it's under that list for the four times points, which realistically comes out if you were to buy that one to $170 back in points which again is a couple free sets or one free set, which is pretty awesome. Then we also have the Coruscant Guard gunship. This is also under the four times points. We have the X-Wing Starfighter, which is that UCS X-Wing set. And lastly, we'll have the Republic E-Wing set versus Shin Hati Starfighter. Those will all be under the four times points. Again, it should be during the week of May 4th. Now it's also rumored that they're gonna offer some exclusive sales for three sets. The first one is the Emperor's Throne Room Diorama set, which from its normal price at $99.99, it's gonna drop down to $84.99. That set has been on sale on Amazon and Target for I believe $79.99 for a pretty good amount of time. So just narrow these down to if you wanna buy it on Amazon or Target or Best Buy, for a sale discount, or you can buy it on lego.com, get all of these gifts with purchase, and then you also get points that you can use for other sets. So just weigh out your options there, see what you want to do. Next up is going to be the Ghost in Fandom 2 set. I was surprised to see this on this list for supposed sales on Lego's website, but the MSRP price of the Ghost in Phantom 2 set is $169.99, and it's supposed to drop down to $129.99. And lastly is that Chewbacca set. This one, I, I was waiting for a massive discount on it. It looks like LEGO might do this on the May 4th week. It's normally $200 for that Chewbacca set, and it's gonna drop down to $164.99. Again, these are all rumors for, for this part, at least on the sales of these sets. And I'll make an update video as soon as LEGO updates their page on which sets will have four times points, which sets will be double points, and then which sets will be on sale. Now, real quick, if you're not familiar with the new sets that are releasing on May 4th week, let me quickly go over them and we'll speed run it real quick. First up is the UCS TIE Interceptor. This one looks amazing. This is one of the sets I'll be purchasing on the May 1st week. It's $10 cheaper from last year's X-Wing. It's down to the $229.99 price point. They did a really good job on the interior here, but that is one of the sets that's releasing on the May 4th week. Next one is gonna be that Sith Infiltrator set. Now this one comes with the brand new Anniversary Fig Saw Guerrera. Now this one's priced at $69.99. It is a little bit pricey, and honestly, this isn't my favorite Sith Infiltrator compared to years past, but if you want that Saw Guerrera minifig, this is the way to go. Next up is the Pod Race Diorama set. This one's priced at $79.99. This is honestly one of the sets that I'm gonna wait for a sale on. I'm not gonna purchase this one right away. I think it's a great diorama. I just think it's a little bit priced too high for me and I'm just gonna wait on it. Next one is the Droidica, which this is one of the sets that I'll also be purchasing on the May 4th week. Priced at $64.99 and the best part is it rolls. Then we have two Brickhead sets. First is the Commander Cody Brickheads. This one's priced at $9.99. I think this one looks great. I'm definitely picking this one up. Again, it's only 10 bucks. I think I'm gonna add a little mod here and add the Palpatine hologram onto his hand. Then we also have the Phantom Menace Brickheads. Again, with this one, I'm gonna wait for a sale. It's $54.99. I think it looks great. I'm just gonna wait for a sale on that one. And lastly, we have the Force of Creativity coffee table book. This one basically has a time capsule of previous designs that LEGO went through to create certain sets and minifigs. It's actually a really, really cool book. It's just $150 is a lot of money to spend on it. But those are all the sets that will be releasing for LEGO Star Wars on the May 4th week. And the last thing I want to end with here is don't wait to May 5th. They shortened it this year. And if you wait till May 5th, there's a good chance that these gifts with purchase and some of these sets are gonna be sold out or back ordered. So just keep that in mind. I would try to get onto the website on May 1st as soon as possible. The website usually bugs out and crashes, but after a little bit, it will ease up and then purchase those sets right away. But that's everything right now that we know for May 4th. Again, I'll make an update video once we learn some more information. Lego hasn't updated their website page yet. Again, 
I'll make a video once they update it. But let me know what your thoughts are on May 4th. If you have any questions on May 4th, feel free to leave a comment. I'll be sure to respond. Remember to hit that subscribe button and that like button, and thank you for watching.